Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Style Nanda 3CE Back to Baby Glow Beams. I saw a YouTuber using these primers and I was pretty sure it was Pony but it was actually Una when I went back to watch the videos and I absolutely loved the look that it gave her so I decided to pick up both colours of this hydrating primer. So the product description says Boost radiance with luster enhancing layer beneath your foundation. Back to Baby Glow Beam is a hydrating cream that creates a light reflecting effect on the skin when worn beneath makeup as a primer. The unique formula smoothly wraps around the skin to create a perfect canvas for foundation application while shining through with a shimmery glow that helps minimize the chalky look of foundation. There are two shades of this primer, a pink and a white. Their packaging is mostly functional, but it is slightly annoying since the tube is made of some metal substance and if you squeeze it too hard, it won't stop squeezing out product. It can make the cap quite messy, so it's important to only squeeze out the smallest amount to start with. These glow beams are fairly thick in texture and a little bit sticky too. Even though there are two different shades, the pink is only slightly tinted pink. It's a little bit more shimmery than the white, whereas the white gives it very glossy, dewy look, which is a lot more intense. The white glow beam is colourless, but it gives a really beautiful, dewy finish to the skin. Rather than being that shimmery type of dewy, this has a more glossy finish. It is quite intense, so this one is not for the faint-hearted. I love glowy dewy skin and this glow beam really does provide that. However, if I apply too much or I'd apply it in the wrong areas, it can make me look greasy rather than glowy. I prefer to apply these primers with a sponge rather than my fingers so that I don't apply too much. This glow beam does increase the appearance of texture and pores, so I try to avoid applying this around the sides of my nose where my pores are more apparent. This is also where I get quite oily, so this stops me from looking greasy at the end of the day. The Glow Beam gives me extra radiance even when I wear it with my most dewy foundation. I also find that these primers help a lot with the dry patches on my skin. It helps mask them and create an even base for foundation to be applied on. As long as I apply this Glow Beam with moderation, I can get beautiful dewy and even looking base. In this clip, I primed the right side of my face with the Glow Beam and not the left. After an 8 hour day, you can tell that the primed side is definitely dewier than the unprimed side, but I don't think that it looks greasy. Using this primer with a matte finish foundation gives me a beautiful lit from within finish and it really helps smooth everything out. The Glow Beam in pink has a pinky peach colour and it has a little bit of shimmer throughout the formula, though you have to look pretty close to see it. The pink shade is a lot less intense than the white and it's not quite as sticky too. I can't see the pinky peach shade on my skin, but it does look really luminous. Again, this Glow Beam does bring out the texture on my skin, but it also provides a beautiful glow. The trick to making these primers last nicely throughout the day without looking greasy is to make sure that you only apply a small amount and use it in conjunction with a foundation that helps control oil. If I choose a foundation that normally gets a little too shiny for me after a day's wear, I find that these primers will just make it look more oily and more shiny. This is what the Glow Beam looks like when it's used with a matte finish foundation like the Peri Peri Ink Drop BB. It makes my skin look luminous without looking oily or greasy and it helps my foundation application since this particular foundation needs quite a moisturising primer. So I love that these are easy to apply. They give me a beautiful glowy look to the skin. They help my foundation apply more smoothly. They minimise the dryness of a matte finish foundation and they give me a look of beautiful, healthy, glowy skin. I don't love that they are more on the expensive side at 20 US dollars, and the packaging can be frustrating and a little bit messy. I really love both of these primers, though I much prefer the white primer because I prefer that glossy, dewy look during winter. I am actually a little bit surprised that I like them this much at all because the first time I used them, I tried out the white primer and I used way too much and I just looked super super greasy throughout the entire day because you can't really blot it away so if you over apply it and immediately apply your foundation over top 
you're stuck looking like that until you take it off, which can be a little bit difficult, but the key is just to apply it in moderation because they are really, really intense. It took a little bit of trial and error, but I found the best way to apply this foundation to make my skin look amazing. I think that it's going to be a great primer for me to use throughout the rest of winter, but probably not something that I will use in summer because my skin gets oilier through summer anyway, and that's just going to make it look even oilier. So definitely a product for winter for me. I'd recommend the Style Lander 3CE Back to Baby Glow Beams to any princesses who are looking for a moisturizing primer that is going to give them a beautiful glowy base. Thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you next time.